Hello YouTubers, my name is Axe Factor. Welcome to Battlefield 4 Conquest Size Small on Lankhang Dam on the CTE servers. That means I have access to the Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth weapons, including the Deagle that I'm rocking as my secondary. Some people say it's a primary. But of course, the Engineer PDW, the MPX. Now, with Lankhang Dam Size Small, if you just paid attention to the map there, a lot less water. The vehicle breakup is different as well. Each team gets an attack boat. Each team gets an LAV, then either a scout or little bird. No tanks, no jets, very infantry centric, and B is an absolute powerhouse because of that reduced waterway. If you get engineers set up in B, no matter if they have smalls, straws, RPGs, or javelin, you can just shut down the attackers, LAVs, and of course, their attack boats, which is great as this guy's trying to give me the LAV. I'm like, no, please, you take it, you drive. I want to go to C. So C is always the point where it's an absolute cluster here. There's going to be people on top of the building, in all the levels, and in all the nooks and crannies. So I believe for these weapons for Dragon's Teeth, they're trying to kind of bounce around body armor, the defensive perk, which reduces the damage you take if you're shot in the chest by any sort of weapon by 7%. Why do I say that? Because the max damage of this weapon is 27. So if you reduce that 7%, you're still at 25 and some change, so you can four shot somebody. But the problem is, this is a PDW. It's got massive drop off. So this 27 max up close, up to 12 or so meters, 12 and a half, but quickly falls to 13 min damage at 50 meters or more. You are literally shooting marshmallows at people. But here's what's different about this PDW than most PDWs. The horizontal recoil. A lot of the PDWs in this game, including the AS Val and some of the other faster shooting ones, have ridiculous horizontal recoil. No matter how well you control the vertical recoil, no matter how well you burst fire, tap fire, it's bouncing side to side all over the place. Well, they already have massive reduction at range. So you've got that working against you, and then you're partnering up with a massive horizontal recoil, making these just absolutely horrible at range. And this one is just slightly better because that horizontal recoil is a lot more manageable because it's more minute. And that's it. That's the only reason why I'm using this thing. I'm a firm believer that PDW sh should be all class available and the carbine should be engineer specific. And you can tell I'm on the burn. I'm losing the burn and my health is slowly creeping back up. If people shoot at me or start suppressing me, I'm going to lose that health regeneration. So that's very important not to get shot at. Well, I reload the deagle and start to move in. And this is the range at which the MPX really shows its true colors. Anything with about 20 or 23 meters or so, you don't have to burst fire it. You don't have to tap fire, you just hold mouse button one, or on your controller, whatever button just dumps the mag out basically. 850 rounds a minute as a body goes flying into the water in the deep end. So I drop down, the hip fire is actually pretty good as well, as that guy, that guy kind of does a shuffle, can't believe he's still alive, and switch over back to him, slowly winning the burn back. It's so important to stay alive on the point, unlike I just did, because now no one can spawn on me. We just got kicked off the island. So if your last guy's standing or you see shit hitting the fan in front of you and your friendlies are getting weeded out, maybe just hide behind a rock kind of like I did that first clip. Spawn in, hit F5 or hit F6, hit a jet ski, and back to the island. So the MPX is definitely something that I like as a PDW only in close range. Is it better than most of the PDWs at medium and long range? Absolutely. Simply because, again, the horizontal recoil is much reduced compared to some of the other faster shooting PDWs available in Battlefield 4. But at the end of the day, it's extremely limited. Could you use this on a lot of the infantry based maps or where there's a lot of close quarters going on? Yes, you'll do really well with it. But don't expect to play conquest size large or push from one flag to another where the spawn points far away and try to be successful. That's where the deagle comes in handy. If you headshot somebody across the map with a deagle, I think it's north of 70 damage. The next one, if it's a body shot, is around 35 or 37 for the men. So you could two-shot people as long as one of them are a headshot at max damage. So give this thing a try. The 850 rounds a minute is extremely nice, along with the 2.1 second reload. Lightning fast if you got at least one in the mag. 
And the other problem is there's only 26 in the mag if you get a proper reload. As always, YouTubers, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We will see you guys soon. Weird RPG glitch. Take care, guys.